Last up, we've got the Red Epic. Been around a bit longer than the other two. Um, bit of a workhorse now in terms of you know films, dramas, commercials. Um, in its current configuration, it's still relatively compact. We leave the side handle on by default so that you can strip it down easily and shoot DSLR style if you really want to. That's obviously completely removable as well. We tend to go with the top bars just for ease of mounting um, battery plates. There's loads of third party accessories you can get. These particular ones we've had made give breakout box for 3-pin RS Array and DTAP power options. Um, the camera itself is very limited in terms of power outs on the actual brain and the body, part of the compromise of making a camera that's very small, compact and used for shooting stills. In a, obviously a professional environment, you want to really max it out and be able to feed Prestons and other LCSs and various monitors, down converters, etc. So what we tend to do is break out the power through here, feed the camera and also give it 12 volt input as well from block batteries, which it doesn't come with as standard. Um, obviously it has only the one output on the brain at the moment, that's been around for a while. There are other modules that you can buy that stack on the back that give you both the onboard LCD and the viewfinder output. Um, it's still, I suppose, one of the highest resolution cameras that you can shoot. It only shoots RAW at the moment in its current configuration. 5K RAW up to 96 frames is its maximum. Um, the new chip upgrade, which is due on this camera imminently within the next couple of months, uh, will give us a couple more stops to dynamic range. It will also give us about a 30% increase in frame rates. So we're expecting a full 6K chip that will give us somewhere in the region of 120 frames a second. Um, it's kind of tried and tested on a lot of things already uh, for shooting high res in, in terms of movies and deliver, delivering high quality stuff for VFX. Um, not much more to say about it really. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, like the other red camera, it's taken a while to find its, find its place in terms of its stability. Um, I find it to be very solid now. The firmware's matured. Um, it's a very reliable workhorse um, and obviously it seems that all camera manufacturers are doing that nowadays, is slowly developing things over time and, and sort of drip feeding features in cameras. Uh, it's nice when it reaches a state that you know you can just use it and it's fine. Um, and that's the Red Epic.